if you like waffle cones as much as I do, you've probably always dreamed of getting one of these little babies here. Chef Choice Waffle Maker. It's right here, I got it for Christmas. I've never used it, I just got it out of its bag. I've kind of read through the instructions. I'm going to make the recipe for the gourmet waffle cone. It says delicious cone. I thought about making a undelicious cone, but I decided making a delicious cone would be better. So I'm gonna make that. This ain't no cooking show, but I am gonna make that just so everyone can see how it's made. And then I'm going to try to make a waffle cone until I can make it such that the ice cream doesn't drip off the bottom. All right, so what I need is an egg white and then I need a regular egg. And I have, it's supposed to preheat this, but obviously I'm not gonna preheat it yet because that doesn't seem to make sense. Stir egg, egg white, and salt in a small bowl. This is small enough, I guess. These brown eggs seem to have a thinner shell than white eggs and they break apart a lot easier, which is, I should say they sort of crack and so I'm not super impressed with them. But anyways, I'm gonna do that. Always use your fingers while uh, making stuff. We've got a quarter teaspoon of salt, which I pre-measured for my convenience. That looks pretty, it's sea salt. I hope that doesn't matter. Stir egg white, egg, and salt in a small bowl. Wow, that doesn't, I don't know why you have to stir just this stuff. Until well blended, beat in the sugar and blend until sugar is incorporated and the egg has lightened in color slightly, about one minute. All right, we've got a quarter cup of sugar. We're going to blend this in, which I assume it means kind of pour it little by little as opposed to dump it in. And I've got a clock over there. So we'll watch the sweep second hand until sugar is incorporated and the egg has lightened in color. Well, obviously, once you get white sugar, it's going to, it's going to lighten in color, unless there's some other phenomena that makes it light in color. <laughs> About a minute, add the flour and stir slowly until flour is moistened. Beat another 15 seconds to incorporate the flour and remove all the lumps. Add the melted butter and stir until well blended. All right, we've got two thirds of a cup of all purpose flour. I tried some most purpose, but that didn't work so well. What did it say? Flour slowly. Oh, all right, so I have to mix it. That's all, okay. So I have to mix it till it's well blended and then stir for another 15 seconds. Gosh, I feel like I'm gonna sweat. I don't care what they say. That is well blended. And now we're going to wait another 15 seconds. Wow, that's crazy. All right. I guess once you do this, you're not that far from a... All right, that looks good. The butter. All right, we're gonna pour in the butter. Uh-oh. Oh, well, I guess it's fine. It looks like it was unmelted for a second there, but it's not. All right. Does it say how long to do this? Beat another 15 minutes until well blended. All right. All right, that looks well blended. Did that, did that look well blended to you? It looks well blended to me. Although, wow, that is crazy sticky. My wife said I could just use cake mix, but I probably could, but this isn't all that many ingredients. Wow, look at that. I um, wonder how this would taste if I just take a tiny bit of it like this. But I always like... <laughs> it tastes like almost... I mean, basically it tastes like sugar and butter. Wow. I thought I could use waffle mix. And maybe I can, but... All right, that's probably good enough. Now, this isn't half bad. Just like this. So if this ever broke, you know, <laughs> you could, uh, I could just take a bowl and put ice cream in it and then I could just dump this on top of it. Not a bad thought. All right, I've got to plug this in and uh, take it from there. Baking your first waffle cone, waffle cone tips. We just want to recommend waffle cone recipes, pinch more flour. The mixture should be adjusted with a bit of oil or flour so that it is of a consistency to spoon easily and run slowly, but not freely from a small ladle. One waffle takes a bit less than a quarter cup. 
Wow, that's surprising. So this is a quarter cup. Seems like on the video I watched it, I didn't use nearly that much. Uh, next we're going to dress with a bit of oil or a pinch of, or oh, a pinch more flour. Let's see, how does that look? It's not too bad. When the green light is on, green light is on, yes, ladle the appropriate amount of batter directly into the center or slightly, or slightly above the center. Promptly close the lid. As you close the lid, the latching mechanism under the lid should snap securely under the base of the waffle cone maker. Thus locking it into place. Lift the lid carefully. Oh, I have to. So right now it's set for six. I'll let it warm and cycle a few times, about five minutes. The green light and red lights will go on and off alternately a few times. Two to three. All right. I'm going to set it at two and a half. So about five minutes. The green and red lights. Close the lid, insert the waffle cone maker power cord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it warm up and cycle a few times about five minutes of the red and green light. We've got on and off a few times. I haven't seen the green light go off a few times. Maybe you should unplug it and do it again. Spray. Oh, yeah. Spray it with vegetable oil. Spray the first time you use a waffle cone maker and any time thereafter. I've got this ready to go. I've got a cloth that we put the waffle, hot waffle cones on as soon as they come out. And then they've got a, a little pictures in here. So what you do, it's a little bit weird because it says here that uh, here is how the red and green timer lights work. Ladle the batter onto the plate when the green light is on, capital O-N. In 20 to 30 seconds, it will go off and the red light will come on, capital O-N. This indicates the plates are heating. In another 30 to 40 seconds, the red light goes off, green light comes on. Bake another 20 seconds and then the waffle should be ready to remove. So 80 to 100 seconds. If you find it easier to use a timer, <laughs> You can just do it, uh, always unplug it in between use, then rolling the cone, we're just gonna, basically you take it off, you lay it down, you grab this thing, as you can kind of see here, and let's just see what happens. All right, this is a moment we've all been waiting for. I got some oil here in case I need it. Pardon me if my head gets cut off. We're gonna give this a whirl. So you unlock it, open it up, spray, spray, and, here we go. This doesn't look like it's going to make that many. Wow. I'm going <laughs> to... I think that's a little too thick. Let's see. All right, so that's a little less than a quarter cup. Let's see. Yeah, this is going to need to be... This all comes out sort of in a plop, although it's not horrible. The good thing is it doesn't stick to my finger too much. Wow, there's still a lot in here. All right, that's... Mm, I've got quite a bit left over here. I might thin it down for the next batch or the next one. All right, here we go. Close it. Latch it. Ah! Uh. There. All right, green light's on. Red light should turn on in about 10 seconds. Oh, man, it smells good. It smells waffly. All right, that is actually an orange light. There's no way that that's red. Why do they even call it red? I guess because red has fewer letters and so it costs less to print. All right. I don't know why it just doesn't. <laughs> you would think that the green light would mean ready to go. The orange light means it's cooking. And then maybe there's a red light that means it's done. But So this should be on for 20 seconds. Then the red light goes off and the green light comes on. Bake another 20 seconds. That's kind of a weird deal, isn't it? Because when this comes on, you basically have to count. Not that counting is difficult, but pretty exciting. <clears throat> I'm going to wait. I smell that it might be, oh no, it's not even close to done. Not even close. I thought I kind of started to smell some burnedness. It's cool to see the reflection of the uh, steam in the stainless steel. Wow, that wasn't even close. It says 20 seconds. Total of uh, 80 to 100 seconds. Maybe once it gets uh, close to being done, the last part goes fast. Ooh, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. All right. A little undercooked, maybe. All right, so we put it down here. And then you go like this. I guess you use this because it's too hot to roll otherwise. It is a little bit warm. Oh, it slips out, too. All right, I'm going to try it without. So you put that thing just a little ways. Oh, that's warm. Woo! Holy smokes. Yeah, that's got a giant hole. You can see, look at that. That's warm. 
I guess if you wore gloves or something. I wonder if... All right, I'm going to reclose this so I can make another one. Let's see. So I've held this. Eh, yeah, but then look what happens to it. So it's cracked, as you can see. The beauty about this is you can obviously crumble this up and still eat a waffle cone or just put it on top of your ice cream. So number one, not the best. I'd say cooking-wise, a little tiny bit brown, probably a tiny bit undercooked there. And when I bent it, I made another crack right there. So the guy in the video had a little thing he put all these in. But I don't really have anything to put them in. I guess I could put them right in here by putting them, putting them in my measuring cup. I think the thickness was about right. Actually, I'm going to put them in my butter thing. It's a little sloppy. but So, I mean, not horrible, but definitely, I don't know how I'm going to get that to work. Exactly right. Green light is on. Let's try another one. Gosh, it, it looks like it only is going to make about four or five of these things. Maybe that's why it's shaking. This consistency I thought was too thick, but I'm, I think it's pretty close to being right. It'd be interesting to know how much. All these ingredients cost obviously with your time it's not worth it from a money standpoint necessarily but from a satisfaction standpoint it certainly is all right so let me think about how to get a sharper point of course the picture is perfect the waffle wafers hmm so if i get more off the edge I mean, this isn't horrible, but obviously it's not going to keep ice cream. It's too bad you can't sort of bend this. I mean, it's, it's edible and it smells like a waffle cone should. Yeah, I don't know that I'm going to get... Well, I use two-thirds. So yeah, maybe four of these. I wonder how much they cost to make. All right, I've got to pay attention here. Keep this clean in case I have to resell it if I don't like it. Uh-oh, I've got some cone residue. CR, that's cone residue. Wow, I got quite a bit of it. All right, so I'm on two and a half. I could go up to three. The question is, does it cook it faster? Or you cook the same amount of time and it just makes it darker? Is that two sides of the same coin? I don't know. The cloth helps protect your fingers from the hot. If your fingers are... All right, let's see. Oh... That is looking good. All right, I slide this off. I put it on here. I'm going to. Gosh, it almost is like. I got a pinch it at the bottom. Ah, oh, that's hot. Well, fooey. Definitely got a crack. Here, which may not be disastrous. Mm. Wow, that's really. If I could have like a cooler here to. Well, that's not horrible. Gosh, I don't think this is how they do it in the mass market. That's not horrible. So I've got a little crack along here. I pinched the bottom and it closed it up, but still, well, I've got a crack there. That's a big crack. Hmm. It's not horrible. I think this one is probably cooked a little better than the other one in terms of brownness. The other one's a little too white. All right, green light's on again. So what do I have to do differently? Are you going to cool off my uh, fingers while this one's cooking? Wow, this is only going to make maybe four. I know the guy in the video used less than was recommended in here but yeah i'm gonna have to like double the recipe next time well shoot all right red light is on green light is on hmm gotta think this through 
I think that I like that being at two and a half. Set the warm uh, cone, a cone holder, of course. A tall iced tea glass until it cools or until you are ready to serve. If you plan to use the cones later, allow them to cool and then dry completely, blah, 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 blah. Sealed plastic bag. I mean, this works fine. Uh, I do have a waffle cone thing that I uh, made with a 3D printer I could be using. Let me just show you to you. Boom, look at this. Waffle cone holder. These aren't horrible. Put them over here. Not too near the heat. All right, green light. Who saw when the green light came on? I'm going to put a tiny, tiny bit of oil on this for this. All right. Let's check it out. Mm, nope. Nope. So it, <laughs> a little commentary here. It basically takes, mm, it's still really not super heated by any means. This is, all right. Let's see if I can draw this. You really have to do it with your hand. I'm gonna just, ha, huh, that's hot. So what they say is just to use the weight of the six, six, six. I'm gonna to try to press that together a little bit tighter. Let me just close that. Yeah, I think that guy needs six. I don't know if he needs a double batch or not, but I'll be lucky to get one more out of there. All right, let's see. <gasps> ah, it's not, shoot. I wonder, it'd be cool if there was edible glue that you could put these, uh, you could sort of crimp that together with edible glue. That's not horrible, though. It's probably my best one of the three. It's a little cracked at the bottom. Um, I don't know how you could prevent ice cream from getting through there. All right, I'm going to make one more, I hope. Those aren't bad. All right. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Shoot. Now I have half the goop into my ladle, or not my mixer thing, beater. Well, not let anything go to waste. All right, here we go. Gosh, this is barely enough for a fourth. It feels like <laughs> it's going to be a small one. I guess if you made it smaller, I don't know if they would be thinner or if they would be a less diameter. I'm trying to get every little bit out of here. Yeah, that's pretty close to a four servings. I added a little oil. Yeah, <laughs> it's not not a quick thing. You definitely do not do this for uh, any other reason than you love waffle cones. This is actually about right. All right. Because after this, obviously, there's nothing left to do except eat the uh, batter. So I'm trying to get all this in here that I can. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't quite put it in the middle. Gosh, there's a lot more left than I thought. It's pretty sticky. Well, it's, I should probably close it. Ah! Well, I mean, it's, it's not bad raw. See, that red light went on super fast. It says the green light is on 20 to 30 seconds, the red light will come on, but there's no way that was that long. I'm going to go clean up a little while that's cooking. <gasps> the green light's on, you should have told me. I mean, obviously cookie dough, <laughs> you could eat all day long. This stuff is not, and it's it's good, but it's not cookie dough in terms of you can't just eat a whole bunch of it. Not that I won't, but all right, let's see. Whew, we gotta get this one right. Not that the other ones are wrong, but I'm gonna try to get this one even better. I have to clean this. 
All right, it should be. Oh my gosh, oh, that's a disaster. Shoot. Ah, rats. I didn't pour it in the center, and so it all came out to this side. I'm gonna have to, uh, I think it shows how to, I guess I'll see what I can do. Man, this is, this is really, uh, it's not even quick that. I'm gonna move it to the center. Just for a few short bits, rats. So we got butter, sugar, flour, egg, egg white, and salt. This doesn't taste quite as sweet as it did before. It's interesting, steam is still coming out, so obviously it still has some moisture to it. But all right, we're going to call it, I don't know, well, I guess I can, I'm going to have to still roll it there. So you bring it up. You have to have enough at the bottom. Oh, you really do need to pinch that in tight. Oh, that's hot, that's hot, that's hot. Ah, Frankie, that's hot. Ah. Woo! That got warm. That got warm. And then, of course, you have to unplug it and then cleaning it out. It'll keep several weeks when packaged that way and kept in a cool, dry spot. So I'm gonna hold this one a little longer and I'll see the damage. I guess as long as you have a good edge, um, so in other words, it's probably better to have it a little to the side so you just get a nice round edge because if you didn't go out to the edge and it was all sort of um, ragged on the outside, that would be a harder time. You could make that into like a waffle bowl, I guess. I'll have to look into that. I think it says you put it inside a, like a parfait dish or something a little bigger and then... Uh, all right, so here's my fourth and the final one. It's obviously shorter. That's not bad though. I mean, I still, I still feel like it should really, uh, the bird clock, it's not bad. All right, so my first fur, <laughs> my, my first fur waffle cones are in the bank. You can see how much shorter that last one was than the other ones. Um, maybe after I eat one, I will let you know, although I did have ice cream last night and I try not to have ice cream more than once every other day.